Hi everybody, uh, question, how do I hook up Serato Scratch Live? Long time ago, back in April I believe it was, I did a video on how to install the software of Serato Scratch Live. So let's pick it up from that video. I'll put that video down here as a video response to this video. Uh, but before we even pick it up, let's do this. A new version of this software came out a couple days ago, uh, beginning of October 2007. I don't have it installed on my laptop yet, so let's update our Serato Scratch Live software and then we'll start hooking everything up. This website is www.serato.com slash downloads. Several different things that you can download here. We want Scratch Live. We click on it. I know it's hard to see, but it's there. Uh, here it tells us there's a new version of Serato Scratch Live, 1.7.4. And if we go down here, we can click on the Windows installer. Once our email address, my email address is B R I A N S R E D D at hotmail.com. Submit. Your download should start automatically. Well, there's a pop up thing here. Download the file, that's okay, you can do it. Now it's going to start downloading open and here we go we're downloading the software okay once it's downloaded that took about a minute to do we have a window that pops up it says drivers and setup let's click on setup just like in the last video run and here we go it's gonna install it for us preparing to install extracting files here we go accept the license agreement this is all review but uh, complete Yes, we want a complete installation. We want a shortcut uh, on our Windows desktop and install. And here we go. It's installing for us. Now, if you guys are installing the new version 1.7.4, I recommend that you do restart your computer after you have installed this program. Boom, there we go. Uh, finish. So let's restart our computer right away. Okay, we're going to have to restart that computer, but uh, let's go ahead and unpack our Serato Scratch Live box here. See what's inside. Take this off. Open it up. Let's see what kind of goodies we've got in here. Ah, look at that. It's an owner's manual for Serato Scratch Live. Uh, this will tell you a lot of information. You should read this. It'd be a good idea. Back here, we've got some stickers. We got an install CD in here that uh, we're really not going to use because we've downloaded a new version of it. Uh, I don't think we'll have to monkey with it unless we need some drivers or something. But we've also downloaded new drivers, so we've got that. Oh, looky, we got vinyl. Two records are included, right here. We also have uh, Serato time-coded CDs. For those of you who are using uh, CD turntables, here's your uh, CDs right here. Serato Scratch Live CDs. Never opened. Look, I've never used them. We've got our main box, little brain box here for Rain Serato Scratch Live, the main piece of uh, hardware you're going to need besides the vinyl to make this all work with your computer and a bunch of cables. There's a USB cable here. Okay, just like you'd have on an external hard drive or a printer perhaps, USB cable. And four of these. They're all tangled. Go figure. It doesn't come like this. I repacked it. But I think you already guessed that already. Four sets of RCA to RCA cables. They are gold plated at the end. That's what you get in the box. Let's hook it up. Here's the Serato box. On the bottom it says mic through, mic gain. Then you have a list of outputs. I'll put one through in line and I'll put two through in line. Here's what it looks like on the bottom. Here's what it looks like on the bottom rather. Mic through, mic gain, output through in line for channel one, output through in line for channel two. On the back side, we have inputs one and two and mic. Inputs one and two and mic. 
We're going to worry about this side right now. Let's hook this up to our mixing board. Take your first set of RCA cables, okay, and plug them into output one through. Line up the red and the white with the red and the white corresponding with these female inlets for the output. Take your RCA cables and plug this set of RCA cables into your Phono 1 input of your mixer. Now on to line. Again, match red with red, white with white. I know you can't see it, my hand was in the way, but do match red with red and white with white. And run this set of RCA plugs into your line 1 of your mixer. Your second set of RCA cables on output 2. Again, white with white, red with red for the through section of output 2 into the phono input 2 of your mixer. Phono input 2. Now on to the lines here. Last line. Uh, line output 2. Red with red, white with white. You have to do it that way. Do not mix them up into your line two of your mixer. Whoops, see I mixed them up, can't have that. Line two of the mixer. I don't use the mic function on uh, Serato, so I'm not even gonna hook that up. Before we're done messing around with the backside of our mixer, I just wanna let you guys know that Serato Scratch Live is not something that you're gonna just necessarily hear out of your computer speakers for sound. What it is, it's a virtual vinyl program that helps you simulate vinyl with the time-coded records. So your audio source, meaning what's going to come out your speakers, needs to come from a stereo or a DJ system. So what you're going to need to do is run some RCA cables out of your mixing board or XLR cables or half inch or whatever you run out of your mixing board to run into an audio source uh, to get sound. Now what I do is I use the uh, RCA jacks out of my mixer and then I run a stereo mini plug into the line input of my sound card on my computer so I can hear it out of my speakers. But maybe you run it into a home stereo or a DJ system. Ooh, look, I've got some sexy new turntables here I picked up the other day. They are the European models, so you pull this plug off and you got the Euro plug. Picked them up used and they're really pretty. I bet somebody in Wales would love to have these sitting on their DJ console table. Anyhow, out of the back of a turntable you have a power outlet, or power plug, a ground wire, like that. Set RCA jacks, or phono jacks. Here is our Serato Scratch Live box. This is going to be phono 1, so we're going to take these RCA jacks right here and plug them in to the corresponding female inlets of input one of the Serato box. We're going to do the same thing with Phono 2. Phono 2 is going to go into input two of the Serato Scratch Live box. And one quick note before we move on. The ground wire coming out of the back of your turntables, one and two, grounds to the back of your mixer like it would any other ground of a turntable. So ground it to the back of your mixer where it says turntable ground. There's one more order of business that we have to handle before we get started. Right here you'll see it says USB on the same side of the Serato box where we plugged our turntables into. Right here we have a USB port. We must plug a USB cable into it. And then the other side of the USB cable, right here, will go into our computer or our laptop into an available USB port.